What? He wants to lose weight again? <laughs> you must be joking. How many times have you said that? I used to do the same. You did not lose any weight, but it's okay. Just that you I did not lose any weight either. And here, and here, found three new ways to help you lose weight. An acronym for my three new ways is CCN, not NCC. CCN. First thing simple, call your friend. Why should I call my friend? Because some of them eat, not because they're hungry, but because they're lonely and unhappy and depressed. So we eat, thinking that eating will make us feel good. But when you're lonely, you eat mostly junk food, ice cream, chocolate, mooncake, that only make you feel weight. But you want to lose weight. So next time, instead of eating, call your friend. Hi, Jenny. How are you? How are you doing today? Oh, me. I'm fine. I'm fine. I will get this guy new home. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Start talking away. When you start talking away, you feel good. You're not lonely anymore. You're happy. So next time, when you're lonely, call your friend. But remember, at the end of your conversation, don't say it again. Just because I'm here and say it again. Hi. Hey, Jenny, let's go to eat. That's not a good idea. That's my first thing. Call your friend. My second thing, change your place. Now, what do you mean by change your place? When we are on a diet, we have to lose weight. Every day, we eat very little. And after a while, a little is not enough. We need more, we need more. But you can because you are on a diet. So, what should you do? What should you do? As you get the weight, to treat yourself, you eating more without really eating more. That is, to change your place, change the size of your place. Let me show you how. Over here, we set apple on a plate. If it's such a big plate, apple looks very small. Remember what I said? Change your place. Why don't we do that? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Hola. Terrible. Just like bigger now, right? <laughs> oh, wait, I got another one for you. Here we are, the ice cream, a big ice cream. <laughs> but then you need a big spoon too. <laughs> With a big spoon, two spoons, ice cream is gone. But then, remember what I said? Change your plate. Why don't we change your plate? Change your spoon too. <laughs> ah, with different spoons, same ice cream, you got lots of ice cream to eat. <laughs> See what I mean? Change your plate and change your spoon. So, about first master, when you come to mind, the first thing you do is go to the kitchen. Change all the sizes of the plate, the dish, the spoon, and even your rice bowl. And that way, you can feel you're always eating more without really eating more. That's my second thing. Change your place. My last end stands for a new refrigerator. Well, I'm not talking about just any refrigerator. I'm talking about a new talking refrigerator with a timer. Talking, so it can talk to you. Timer, so you can get a time when not to eat. So, after you take a new refrigerator, during the day, whenever you open the refrigerator, looking for something to eat, the refrigerator will talk to you. You hear? Ding! Ding dong! Ding dong! Remind you not to eat again. But at night, let's say, um, we should have time room at 10 o'clock. After 10, you promise yourself no food for eating after 10. So, about 10 30. You're a little hungry. You go to your refrigerator, you open it, and the minute you open it, the refrigerator comes to you and says, Do not open the refrigerator. <laughs> Do not open the refrigerator. It's past 10 o'clock. It's past 10 o'clock. Do oh, coffee. I thought you're not, you're 10. <laughs> okay, no, no, no refrigerator. I'm not going to eat. That's fine. No big deal. Go back to the TV, watch the TV so far again. 
Hello, Paul Pedro. Hello, Mr. Sir. Hello, Mr. Sir. Now you are little more hungry. This is what gives something to eat. You go to the fridge again. And you meet the woman and talk into it again. You are big. You are big. You are big. I don't need to find something. Stay away. But about two o'clock, about midnight. I really hungry. You always eat something before you go to sleep. So, you go to food again. <laughs> open it. And the minute you open it, you hear, oh. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. And after that, the door dark up. You cannot open it again. <laughs> you cannot eat again. <laughs> Follow those lines. After that, after that, you're still hungry. And you still are eat, and you are hopeless. <laughs> you, have, you have no hope of losing weight. Even God cannot stop you. <laughs> my old friend, my good friend, William, William Shakespeare, he was there. We should eat to live, not live to eat, because you are what to eat. And he's right. You are meant to eat. So, Father Joseph's master, what do you want to do? He let lose weight without lose weight be healthy or oh, eat like a pig. <laughs> and you will look like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>